Avatar. Welcome back to Magician Recaps Explains. Today, we are diving into the breathtaking world of Avatar, The Way of Water. From stunning underwater visuals to epic new adventures, the sequel expands James Cameron's universe in remarkable ways. Stick around as we break down the key moments, plot twists, and everything you need to know about this cinematic masterpiece. Let's jump in. After 10 years the Navi repelled the human invasion of Pandora, Jake Sully, Sam Worthington, a former human who fell in love with Nidiri and befriended the Navi after becoming a member of the Avatar program, eventually taking their side in their conflict with humans and leading them to glorious victory. He left his human body to permanently become one of the Navi. Now he stays as chief of the Amatikea clan and raises a family with Nidiri, Zoe Saldana, which includes his sons, Nedium, James Flatters and Lope, Britton Dalton, also his biological daughter, Tuk, Trinity Jolie Bliss, and his adopted daughter, Kiri, Sigourney Weaver, born from Grace Augustine's inert Navi avatar, and a human boy known as Miles Socorro, Spider, Jack Champion, the son of Colonel Miles Quaritch, Stephen Lang, Colonel Miles Quaritch, a human who led the security forces of the RDA, the human organization colonizing Pandora, in their conflict with the Navi who was born on Pandora and was not able to be transported to Earth in cryostasis, due to his young age. The Navi sent all the humans back home, but maintained the scientists like Norm and Max to help continue their study of the Navi ecology and biology. To the Navi's disappointment, humans returned to Pandora to prepare it for colonization, as Earth is dying. They build up a new main operating base, named Bridgehead City. Among the new arrivals are recombinants, Navi avatars with the memories of deceased RDA Marines, with Quaritch's recombinant as their leader. General Francis Ardmore, E.D. Facco, is the commander in charge of the planet. Jake begins a guerrilla campaign against the RDA supply lines by attacking the maglev train carrying weapons. Quaritch and his recombinants conduct a counterinsurgency mission against Jake. They are dropped close to the magnetic mountains in the hope that the Navi DNA will not trigger the immune response from the local ecosystem, unfortunately. His children are also nearby, and they told Jake about the recombinants. However, they captured his children one miles as team searching for footage of their last encounter with Jake and Nidiri. Spider got to know that, Miles is his father and that he was killed by Nidiri. Jake and Nidiri arrive and free most of them, but Spider is taken by Quaritch, who recognizes him as his son. He decides to spend more time with him in order to draw Spider on his side, and in turn, Spider teaches Quaritch about Navi culture and language. Knowing fully of the danger Spider's knowledge does, he knew their entire base and tactics of operations and also of his whereabouts poses to their safety. Jake and his family exile themselves from the Yamatakea and travel to retreat to the Mitkana Reef People clan at Pandora's eastern seaboard, where they are given shelter, even though some tribesmen consider them to have demon blood for their genetic human heritage. The family gradually learns the ways of the Reef People. Kiri develops a spiritual bond with the sea and its creatures, making her to get the ability to summon and command them, and Loke befriends Syria, Bailey Base, a graceful and strong free diver of the Mikana, the daughter of Clan Chief, Tanauri, Cliff Curtis, and his wife, Ronal, Kate Winslet, a free diver of the Mikana, and Tanauri's wife, who is pregnant. Jake tells Tanauri that he has left the war behind him, and only asks for the safety of his family. He is allowed to stay and Jake is very eager to ensure that his family respect the ways of the Mikana. Lok later gets into a fight with Tsairi's brother, Aonung, Philip Jeljo, when he made fun of his sister. Later when he returns to apologize at Jake's insistence, Aonung and his friends entice him to a trip into the territory of a dangerous sea predator, and leave him stranded on purpose and far away from their village. Lok is attacked by the predator and is about to be killed, when he is saved by and befriends Payakin, a Tulkin an intelligent and pacifistic cetacean species, whom the Mitkana consider their spiritual family. Payakin is a loner and sees Lok also as a loner and hence saves him. Upon his return, the chief attempts to punish his son, but Lok takes the blame on himself, winning Aonung's friendship, but is told that Payakin is an outcast among his species. On a trip to the Mitkana's Tree of Souls, Kiri links with it to meet her mother, but suffers a violent seizure. Jake called Norm Spellman and Max Patel to treat her, but they could not wake her up. She is later healed by Ronal, but because Jake calls Norm and Max for help, Quaritch is able to track them to the archipelago where the Reef people live. Bringing Spider with him, he commandeers a whaling vessel, led by Captain Mick Scoresby, Brendan Cowell, the head of a private sector marine hunting vessel on the planet of Pandora and Dr. Ian Garvin, Jermaine Clement, 
a marine biologist, which is hunting telkins to harvest their brain enzymes for creating anti-aging remedies named Amrita. Quaritch begins to brutally question the indigenous tribes about Jake's location, failing that. He orders the whaling crew to wantonly kill the Tulkins in order to draw Jake out. Loke mentally links with Payakan and learns that the Tulkin was cast out, because he went against the ways of his species and attacked the whalers who killed his mother. In the attack, many Tulkin were killed and Payakan was blamed for using violence and violating the ways of their species. When the Midkayana heard the news of the Tulkin killings, Loke takes off to warn Payakan, followed by his siblings, Syria, Aonung and Roxo, Dwayne Evans Jr. They find Payakan being chased by the whalers, and Loke, Syria, and Tug are captured by Quaritch. With their children in danger, Jake, Nidiri, and the Makaina set out to confront the humans. Quaritch forces Jake to surrender, but seeing his sole brother imperiled, Payakan attacks the whalers, triggering a fight that destroys most of the crew and critically damages the vessel, causing it to sink. Nedium rescues Loke, Syria, and Spider, but he is brutally shot and killed. Jake faces Quaritch who uses Kiri as a hostage. When Nidiri does the same with Spider, Quaritch at first denies his relationship with him but desists when Nidiri cuts Spider across the chest. A fight ensues between Jake and Miles as the vessel continues to sink. Jake, Quaritch, Nidiri, and Tug end up trapped inside the sinking vessel. After a long fight, Jake strangles Quaritch into unconsciousness and is rescued by Loke and Payakan, and Kiri summons sea creatures to help her save Nidiri and Tug. Spider finds and rescues Quaritch, but renounces him for his cruelty and rejoins Jake's family. After Nedium's funeral, Jake informs Tenalari and Ronal of his decision to leave the Makana. Tenalari, however, respectfully identifies him as part of the clan, and welcomes his family to stay. Jake and his family accept and forge a new life at sea, with Jake vowing to keep fighting the human invaders. That wraps up our recap of Avatar, The Way of Water. From its stunning visuals to its deep dive into Pandora's oceans, this film continues to push the boundaries of storytelling and technology. What did you think of the movie? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more recaps and movie insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.